tips are always important, right? To get the, um, the best experience, uh, especially on a brand new airplane uh, like this. You want to take off, uh, feel well from beginning. I would like to start uh, with the transmitter. One good recommendation for me would be, you know, DX8. It's a very good choice for this airplane. Of course, uh, nothing wrong with the 6i, for example. Basically, you need a six-channel transmitter with dual rates and exponential. You know, the dual rate and exponential needs to be adjustable. To get the most out of the scimitar, I like to, you know, have some mixing here to provide the most performance. Taking off and landing from hardtop surface will be ideal or short grass. Keep in mind, a propeller is is in the back of the airplane, it's a pusher. At the time you rotate the airplane, if the grass is too tall, it will be striking the propeller. Actually, before you take off, after you center everything and you're done with the throws, you have everything set up, there is more uh, mixing um, that I would recommend to you, again, for most performance. One of them is the plane car is uh, it has a lot of torque. Uh, what means, you know, torque? Uh, for the advanced pilot, the, you, you know what is torque, you know, but for those that don't know is, this plane has great power. You will see when you add the power, the plane wants to roll to the left. It's nothing wrong with that, it's just a matter of physics. So you can solve that problem by a simple way is with just add a few clicks of right trim of aileron, the other way to do it, for those uh, more uh, picky modelers, I'm one of them, we do a mix of throttle to aileron. So when you open the throttle, the aileron goes to the right a little bit, and then throttle down and goes down, uh, back to neutral. Uh, believe me, we're talking about here one millimeter, so it's a very, very small uh, amount, but again, for those that wants to see the airplane flying at any speed, at perfectly level, that would be a good feature. And that is important, so as you take off the pitch, it will be correct in the airplane and you will not experience any kind of pitching down after you take off and trying to reach your elevator trim to get you know, the level flight. So add a, about two millimeters, three millimeters up trim and the plane will be perfectly level. The other mix I like to do on this airplane is a uh, knife edge. It's a very strong knife edge flying. It climbs very well. And to help on the uh, coupling, and you can do rudder to elevator and rudder to ailerons in order to correct the coupling. There is one mix that is a must, is the vector thrust mix. As we set up in the airplane, is very well explained in the manual, we have mixed rudder to uh, AUX1. The AUX1 is the vector thrust, uh, channel 6, for example. Adjust your endpoints as we explained in the manual. Not need to be a curved mix, just a lineal, typical um, mix. And then you have a switch. A beginning, take off scimitar with the mix off. That means uh, vector thrust is off play with it, and then you will start to get curious about it. Oh, I, want, I want to try it. So then you can turn it on and get yourself enough altitude and start experience with it. I think your first reaction will be, wow, I can do, I can do a few things with this. And it's true. In the box of the airplane, you already have seen some uh, couple maneuvers there where we describe, you know, like the super flat spins and also the uh, pinwheel. We're coming for a inverted super flat spin. We're going to do a right rudder. Start pushing elevator, stall at rudder, power on, neutralize everything, stay on rudder, stay on power, and now exit. Make sure to no stand when you exit. Power off and glide out. We are going to do the pinwheel. We come in upright position. We pull 45 degrees. Coming now and execute right now. And nose down, exit. 
All this, what I just explained, you can download it from Scimitar website. Right there is my own program. Download that, put in your DX8 transmitter. I guarantee you will have a big success with that. When you're considering your purchase, try to decide what is your next excitement. Consider the Scimitar for what it offers you, how much you are going to pay. I think you will be extremely happy with it.